Rutgers. This game, an interesting matchup for them, facing another middle of the pack team. They're looking to take a step forward. This is the type of game that they've got to measure the progress with. And when I look at Toronto, hanging where they are, right in the middle of the standings, although the subpar athleticism hinders him a bit. But for example, he's averaged less than one block per game for his career, mostly because even though he's a seven, bottom of the net, look good from here. Yeah, I'm about as shocked as you are, Clark. And it's DeRozan missing. And you know, coaches just love players who they can count on to give that effort defensively. And he clearly is one of those guys, Greg. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Vucevic a screen on Carroll. DeRozan, and he comes off the screen and stems it from, from getting the win. And, you know, as you said, Greg, when you are in foul trouble, it makes you less aggressive defensively. And when that's the case, it's hard to offer the kind of resistance that you need to. That was in the back of the mind, the foul trouble they were in. It a miss. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Out to DeRozan. Gets to the corner and buries it. DeRozan at facilitating for others and spotting up for the three. Or just taking it to the rack himself. And the shot counts. He's fouled and it's a chance for a three-point play. And, and the game plan. Player go down with injuries, especially a talent. Like Derrick Rose, he still needs to show that he can regain that high level of NBA play. Patterson, the screen. Here's Champ. Last time out, he had 14 points. And the shot is good. You know, the turn. Some nice ball movement here by the Raptors. Joseph. Green with the rebound. Tell you what, they haven't wasted any time getting into the swing of things on the board. And even this early, that's a good omen for the run. They're finding the open lanes to the hoop and owning this game early. Stolen by Levine. Fast break. Here comes Chicago. And he goes in for the dunk. And that's the... And Joseph kicks to Patterson. There's the pick. Here's P. And count it. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. That's the kind of mindset he has to continue to display. Here's Champ. Back to Dragic. Shot clock at six. The three ball. And that one's good. Dragic has got five. Not quite close enough. Good shot. Outside DeRozan. Vucevic a screen on Carroll. DeRozan's shot is good. Another gap in the defense. Carroll passes to Dragic. Hibbert with the screen. Dragic dishes to Hibbert. Here's Champ. And the Raptors hit again from Deese. Their six-point brand of basketballs had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and, and rough. But that's how you win games. Finish off the break. And the Bulls lead by 18. They're good. Again, no good by Toronto. You know, he just hasn't looked right to me. A bit out of sorts, if you will. Something's off with his mechanics, um, at least as I look at it. And Chicago has possession. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. And, and Champ, the pass to Patterson. And that is good. Patterson's got his second basket. Here it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great position inside. Yeah, just getting the ball into the post has to be option number one for them right now. And defender in sight. Rogic dishes to Carroll. Hibbert in the high post. Here's Champ. Power down with both hands. I love Chicago. No good. For Toronto, they've gone 6-12 in the second quarter, right at the 50% mark from the field. Carroll, no one around him. Buries it from three-point range. And there's the feed to Levine. And the three off target. For Toronto, they've gone 7 of 15 from the field here in the second quarter. Just under 50% shooting. Nice shot by Brooks. Wow, got that one. Carroll, taking a look at his stats, he's averaging around 9.5 points a game. Levine dishes to Vucevic, and he drops in the way up off the glass. No good on the second free throw. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge 
is impressive. And they're giving themselves picking up a basket just moments ago. Scola, a screen on Brooks. Shot to stop the run. He used that pick to get in close. Nice work. He dishes it to Dragic. Shot clock at five. Here's P. The good looking shot from the wing. P's got. The dish now to Carroll. He feeds it to Hibbert. Pass to Champ. Puts up a three. And yes, sir, that one drops. Champ's got 15. Boy, he made a nice little bounce pass there. We call that the pocket pass, and he did it well. Outside to Rosen. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. And he gets it to go. Another bucket in the paint. Levine kicks to Plumley. Passes the ball. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Here's Vucevic. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Hibbert on the double team. Carroll against DeRozan. Goes back up. He lays it in. DeRozan's got 15 points. For Chicago, they've gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. DeRozan's shot is good. What? The Raptors have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. P passes to Dragic, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Dragic has got lock at six. Buries it from about 10 feet away. Hibbert's got seven points in the game. And that's a nice possession. Did a good job to get that open shot. DeRozan's shot is good. Not surprised. Here's P. A beautiful reverse layup. P's got four points. To make the layup complicated, I mean, it's not a trick shot contest, but he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. So it's Chicago now. Down low. Vucevic, and the layup is good after a nice lead pass. Here's Dragic. After Chicago, picking up a basket just moments ago. It's no good. He is 4 for 10 in the game. Dragic has gone 4 of 10 here, has 6 misses. Got it. Nice one there from Levine. That gives you a sense of calm and confidence because of how good he is. And here are the Raptors now. The Bulls getting the bucket. Good. Ooh, that is a tough shot. Bull shooting and offensive execution has been beyond great there. 63% from the floor in this game. It's DeRozan with the drive. Oh, and it looks like that's going to be a goaltending call. Yep, that's it. It'd be if he wasn't having this kind of quarter. Rose goes in. And that one's good. Rose has got 15. Doing pretty well at 46% from the floor. Now the feed to Joseph. Screen by Scola. Terrific design on the pit play. He lays it in. Possession. Here's Green. But they get it back. And again, it's Derrick Rose. Rose is going to the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. And here is Patterson. He clangs that one off the back iron and down it. Uh, John Wall, Kyrie Irving in the East. Boy, I could go on and on with the great players at that position. And Joseph kicks to Snell. Knocks down the three ball. Snell's got six points in the quarter. Feeds to Bearstow. Just five to shoot. Here's McDermott. And he drops that one in. McDermott's got he wanted and ultimately now has achieved. Now here's Joseph. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. I want to show people that we have the range. <laughs> yeah, you speaking from experience? We already know how good his range is. He shouldn't be firing from that deep, though. Mm -hmm. And Dunleavy gets it to go in. Wow, the floor just real for the Bulls. Agreed, Steve, and as one-sided as it gets today. You know, Clark, there were uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kip. Disciplined enough to avoid too much contact. And the shot is good. Man, this fourth quarter has been tremendous 
They have been exceptional from deep. Yeah, a bunch of their points coming from long range here. A major barrage. And so Chicago takes this one, and by a big margin.